Nothing I could do with him, dog. David Robinson. Oh, my God. I thought I had him beat, but David was over there on the left end of the top of the key. Something that shouldn't exist. That's how freaky he was. David Robinson, the Admiral, will be an absolute beast in today's NBA, and I actually believe his game will fit even better in this era. At 7-1, he was running the floor like a gazelle with the agility of a guard, which will be a huge advantage in today's fast, positionless game. It's easy to draw comparisons to modern players like Giannis, as Robinson's ability to grab a rebound, push the ball up court, and initiate the offense himself was incredibly unique for his size, long before we saw players like Giannis do it. He could handle the ball, cover ground in transition, and finish at the rim with a authority, making him a one-man fast break threat. Defensively, Robinson will be a game changer. His rim protection was elite, but his ability to switch onto guards and wings would truly set him apart in today's NBA. He had the footwork and lateral quickness to stay in front of smaller players, something that is crucial in the modern era, where teams rely on pick and roll switches and spacing the floor. Whether defending the paint or stepping out to contest on the perimeter, Robinson would have been a defensive nightmare for opposing teams, capable of anchoring a defense by himself while still being able to guard more multiple positions. Offensively, Robinson's game was already highly polished, and in today's NBA, it will be even more lethal. He had a smooth mid-range jumper that would translate perfectly in today's game. And with how much emphasis is placed on the three-point shooting now, there's little doubt that Robinson would have developed a consistent three-point shot, making him a complete offensive weapon. But even without it, let's just say he wants to play his game, he will still be a threat. He had exceptional footwork in the post, allowing him to score efficiently down low, but he could face up and use his speed and athleticism to blow past slower defenders. Robinson's game was built for today's NBA. He had the physical gifts, the skills, and the mindset to dominate in any era. But in today's faster, more versatile league, he would have even more opportunities to showcase his full range of talents. So I want to show you a collection of NBA legends and players telling you how dominant David Robinson was. And after this video, I want you to comment down below how you think a prime David Robinson will fit in today's NBA. Enjoy the video, man. So the head of the field has it. Oh, a 360 spin. David Robinson. Oh my gosh. The Admiral, free in the lane. What a perfect player, what a perfect man. Mexico City, we playing the Spurs. I'm going up against David fucking Robinson, bro. <laughs> the Admiral. He's strong as shit. So. That was my note. He bust my ass. Yeah. He bust my ass, bro. It was nothing I could do with him. 30 points, 18 rebounds. Jesus in 30 minutes. I remember that stat line. It was cooking you good. Huh? Yeah. What? Wasn't nothing I could do, cause usually, and I was, you know, I was young, thin. He was stronger. He was just as fast. He was just as athletic. Two, three dribbles to get to the basket, put it on the floor. He's what, like seven one, seven two. Isn't he he's like he's seven, true, he's true like footer? 70. Yeah. yeah, he true footer. Nothing I could do with him, dog. Bust my ass. So we played him again the second night. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna get him tonight. Still bust my ass. David Robinson was my favorite player ever. I love David Robinson. I loved him so much that I had to make up a fake story to be able to play against him. Because David was a nice man. I met him in high school. You know, because before David came to San Antonio, Shaquille O'Neal was the big cheese, San Antonio, Texas. Every, every San Antonio Express, every morning on the sports page during basketball season, me. Me, 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 me. Who's this young kid on the Army base putting up all these numbers? Now they draft David Robinson, he takes my shine away. So one day we're doing an event and I meet him and he comes in. How you doing, young fella? I know who you are, good luck. Like, I'm like, wow, David Robinson knows what? Like, he's just so nice. So now when I play against him, I'm like, I can't be mean to a guy that nice. And then I have to make up a story. Oh, man, when I was 15, you didn't sign that autograph. Because me, when I get upset, I play harder and I play better. So I had to make up a, a wild story of my head to go against him. Now, David, I remember David when I played against him his rookie season. David was 7'2", quick as a guard, and I drove to the basket. When, you, when, you're, when you're penetrated like we are, you always find out where's the shot blocker. You're not worried about the guy guarding you. Where's the shot blocker? So I, I, I beat, I think it was Sean Elliott or Willie Anderson. I'm going to beat them. I thought I had him beat, but David was over there on the left end of the top of the key. So I said, I got this. I go up to make my little regular finger roll, and the ball ended up on the 10th row. I go, now, how did he get way from over there? I said, there are only a couple guys in the world who could do that. How did he do that? And that's when I said, you know what? This young fella's got some range. <laughs> you better be careful. 
And I remember the playoff series against San Antonio. We're going into the arena, and uh, he and I would sit against each other in the back of the bus. And uh, he leans over to me and he goes, bring it to me early tonight. Bring it to me early. I'm looking, I'm like, all right, what's, 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 what's going on? He said, when I was a kid, David Robinson wasn't very nice to me. <laughs> I said, say no more. This series is in a bag, man. <laughs> that's it. That's it. The thing, only thing he didn't do was shoot the three. Right. That's it. That's the only thing. That's like he could, he could put it on the floor. Mm -hmm. You know, he face you up. Yes. Oh, give you that oh. reverse sigma. Mm -hmm. Put it on the floor right mm -hmm. in front of you. Mm -hmm. Make two, two, three dribbles. I'm to the basket. Mm -hmm. Boom. Left yes. or right. Oh yeah, no doubt. Then he coming mm -hmm. down. He gonna beat that shit up. Yeah. Oh yeah. He gonna do all Start that. Start the break. Oh yeah. They coming yeah. Yeah. all over again. Yeah. Get uh. five old the ball. Get five old the ball. Avery Johnson. Avery Johnson. Avery Johnson. Get five old the ball. A minute ago, grown man strength. That's what it was. I mean, real. Put them big old shoulders on your shit, and whoo, he was tough, man. I love, I love to see him play, though. You know, he wanted to come out after the third quarter. I think he had about 62 or 64 points at the time, and had won the scoring title. But we wanted to push him, and uh, you know, and, and continue to score. And uh, he was just reluctant. He didn't want that type of attention. He had done his job that night, or a night where he had a you know quadruple double, or you know how many games in the fourth quarter he blocked several shots, got us out on the break, and we won. I mean, when you have a great player like that, they set the tone when, when it's winning time, they perform at the highest level, and uh, David was all about team first and uh, making sure everyone else was successful in, in their own game, but overall as a team. David Robinson. I mean, David Robinson gets overlooked as one of the best centers of all time. Reggie, are you thirsty? 90s. I want you to drink some of this. <laughs> <laughs> you can say what you want, but two championships later oh, in the yeah, MVP, oh, yeah, exactly. David Robinson was a load. load. Yeah, no, he was the man. He was a load yes, in the load. 90s. You know, so you have to stay on your feet all the time and be a lot on the floor. You can't blink. If he's having this type of year now, then first you're out. You know, the sky's the limit. Ball five, six times to himself and get it. You know, he's, uh, I guess you could say he's scary, but I, I just think he, he's a great, great player. I did a Nike thing with him this summer down in, in Las Vegas when we were going at it with, with some of the Nike guys, Charles Barkley and Moses Malone. And, and he was dunking on people so quick, and we were working. I mean, we were working, and we were trying to do whatever we could. A guy like Moses Malone who has a lot of pride in his game, and this guy was dunking so fast and so hard, I couldn't believe it. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to understand that he's very special. It's ghostly. Uh, it's not recognizable. You think of it as normal quickness, but I think it, it transcends and goes to another level. The fact that he's left-handed throws people off uh, because he's always going to his strong side, and you're expecting guys to go right, and he's going left. Uh, he <laughs> when he uh, grabs a rebound, don't even try to take it away from him. He's got the speed and the quickness of a guard. And the body of a big guy, uh, he's just awesome. And I know his moves, and I know what he likes to do, you know, and I try to defend it, and I still can't stop it. He has a complete package. This is a guy who's definitely not one-dimensional. He embodies everything that is great about this game. And you said it right, play both ends, unselfish. You know, when I started to look back at my career, watching basketball for all the years and getting a chance to play with some of the greats and against, and I, I put David Robinson at the top of the list when you talk about combining the person off the court and the player on the court. When you combine those two, he's number one in my book because it's an unbelievable guy for his talent and then even a better person. And as you can see, uh, won Defensive Player of the Year back in 1992. Also won a scoring title, won two Olympic gold medals. David Robinson from Navy. <laughs> Dwight Howard, before Dwight Howard ever was Dwight Howard. He was the first guy that we've seen like that, at that size, on a consistent basis. Weber, great shot. What a play. Robinson, look out. If he stays in there, he's going to get that one. David Robinson was really the first seven foot guy who could run, who could jump. It was really quite a something to behold that a seven foot guy could run and jump like that. What a jump I did. Between he and the Admiral, and he decided to go military with it. May I serve you a dunk, sir? Hey, Robinson. Oh, 
Pujols another. That's unstoppable when you go in and you're seven foot one. Him being a really good jump shooter, left-handed. It was a nightmare matchup for every center in the league. Congratulations, David Robinson, 1995 NBA MVP. Well, David um, was one of those big guys that could do just about everything. He was also a uh, big competitor. You know, he wanted to win. Uh, certainly, uh, his presence always was felt when he was on the court. David Robinson was a, one of the most unique big men we've ever seen in basketball. And alley -oop, Anderson to Robinson. Oh, my. Check it by Robinson. Robinson takes it inside. David Robinson with the slam back. You hear so many stories about guys who don't get it done. You will never, that will never be a chapter in David Robinson's book. The Admiral fighting the final wave. About to come to shore with his second crown. But David was definitely the first guy uh, th that I think you could really say at, at that center position uh, was just that quick and that fast and, and, and ran the floor as well as he did. They, centers just didn't do that, and, and they, they, there still aren't many of them who do. So uh, David was just an incredibly unique player, and as Steve said, a very unique uh, individual as well. A, a really, really bright guy with all kinds of interests uh, beyond basketball, uh, but he dominated play in his prime and uh, was a great teammate and was an awful lot of fun to play with. Never seen anybody at seven foot one run like him. Davis pass knocked away, stolen by David Robinson. He feeds Del Negro. Now to Corey Alexander. Alley of Dave slammed up. David, man, was he was a specimen. Being left-handed, he was tough to guard because, you know, he had moves down low. He could step out to 17 feet and knock that jump shot down. And and the way that he could beat everybody up and down the court, I think was his number one strength. Yeah, it was really fun playing with David. We actually played together in uh, college a little bit on a, a, a couple of summer teams. That was really fun. And then to, to be teammates in San Antonio years later was a real thrill. I mean, he was obviously one of the great players in the league at the time. And uh, to be his teammate and to just feel his influence on the franchise, just his class, his, uh, his character, the way he carried himself, and of course, his dominance. Duncan, beautiful pass for Robinson. For me, getting a chance to play with David Robinson, you know, playing against him all those years, and a lot of times when you become a teammate, it's a different person or a different player. David Robinson was that same guy as an opponent and as a teammate. Do you agree with that, Steve? Oh, yeah. I mean, you knew what you were going to get every night, whether you were playing against him or, or with him. Uh, he was going to dominate the, the paint. Uh, dominate that rim area. If you were playing against him, you were always aware uh, of, of David's presence. Uh, so even the shots that he didn't block, you know, he altered just by being there. And then in transition, you know, the, the, the point guards he played with, uh, particularly, you know, Avery Johnson, I mean, those guys were, were, were handed about three or four assists per game just by throwing the ball up at the rim uh, because David would beat his man down the floor and he was so athletic and long, he could just chase everything down and, and finish it. So, yeah, he was a, an incredibly unique player and, and uh, certainly a, a well-deserving uh, Hall of Famer, that's for sure. And but when you see a guy carry himself like the way he carries himself every single day, great dignity, yet great athleticism, plays fantastic virtually every night. Virtually every night. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is, that, is that something you, you aspire to, Tim? Oh, definitely, of course. Uh... Uh, the things he's gone through, what, he, what he's accomplished, uh, uh, places he's been, just uh, everything. And you just, you, you just, will, you'd never know if you saw him. You'd never know if you met him because he doesn't wear it on his face. Uh, he doesn't wear it in his, in his clothes. David <laughs> <laughs> double teamed by Wood takes the jumper. Yes, 71 for David Robinson. To look back on it now and tell my kids, hey, I scored 70 points in a game, and they're like, you, you scored 70 points in a game? That's ridiculous. In it goes, and this time Robinson beats the double team. I've been fortunate enough to be able to do a couple neat things in my career, um, getting that quadruple double. Down the lane goes Robinson already with a quadruple double. That was a lot of fun. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and tell me what you think a prime David Robinson would do in today's NBA. So make sure you like, share, subscribe, and until next time.